Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news Doesn't work no more but tells a lot of stories about her youth Drinks more lately and got pills in many different colors too Morning light is showing she moves the chair to look out at her view But a shop was put right across the street and it stands by the sun or as he used to be in the Major General Paul Lokech, the Lion of Mogadishu. He is a hero, a statesman, brave fighter, and a Pan-Africanist. Major General Paul Lokech is one of the best UPDF commanders who have earned the army huge respect on the continent due to his dedication and selfless service. His military career includes service in various leadership capacities, including two tours as the command of the Ugandan contingent to Somalia as part of the peacekeeping force where he performed very well earning him the title, the Lion of Mogadishu, from the Somalis. That's one of the reasons that made us move out to ensure that we take the war to Al-Shabaab and push them far away from inflicting casualties on the civilian population uh, within Mogadishu. He has also served as part of Uganda's peacekeeping forces in South Sudan. He was part of Operation Safe Haven, a UPDF operation in the Democratic Republic of Congo intended to neutralize the Allied Democratic Forces. His first two as command of the Ugandan contingent to Somalia, commanding battle groups 8 and 9 between 2011 and 12, he registered loss of success. It's at this time that the UPDF managed to eject Al Shabaab militants from Mogadishu in 2011. When we came to this theater, it's a bit difficult because we are fighting in a build-up area. So the best we had to do was to adapt. We had to adjust ourselves very fast to fit within that type of fighting. Of course, fighting in an urban area or urban terrain is the most difficult warfare for any military, for any military in the world. The challenge of an urban warfare, in particularly to the UPDF, was that uh, uh, we had been fighting counterinsurgency in an open terrain. Uh, mostly when you look at the northern part of Uganda, we had been operating in and in southern Sudan and then Congo areas. This is a different terrain from what we have got here. Here when you have not controlled the corridors and the, the tall buildings, yeah. that's where the problem is. Yeah. But once you have already uh, controlled the the corridors have already constructed the ESCO barriers mm -hmm. and you have entered the toll building, mm -hmm. then you have you take the deal. In the build up areas you find that uh, the enemy Al Shabaab and with their foreign allies, because Al Shabaab is being backed by foreign fighters. And then you find they have dug tunnels. They are fighting along tunnels. And these are new concepts we did not know. They had bunkers within uh, within the build up areas. They have dug uh, uh, tank ditches so that in case our armored vehicles are moving by, they could always fall into those uh, tank ditches and they target it. But all the same, we had to move hard to ensure that we, uh, we overcome those challenges, and we did. The only option is to move forward and take, take the war to the enemy. Because we were sitting in one place and the enemy could keep on throwing uh, mortar shells in our positions. Even the airport was under threat. Uh, all our roads, uh, our lines of communication were under threat. So the best option was to move the enemy far away from our position. So first phase was to move towards Bakara. Not to capture Bakara, but move towards Bakara. And we achieved that around the 28th of May. We achieved that, and that is Wana Road. Second phase was to get boundary. And when we got to Bondere, it gave us now, it expanded, it, it, it created, uh, uh, it gave us now room to uh, move on the enemy from a lot of prongs. Uh, uh, he also commanded the UPDF in September 2011 to expel the Al Shabaab militants from Bakara Market. The economic hub that Al Shabaab had been using to raise funds or revenue to support its operation, and that was Bakara. Uh, Mogadishu Stadium is so strategic to us because 
it is controls the inlet into, into Mogadishu. So when you are sitting on Mogadishu uh, Stadium, you control the bigger inlet into Mogadishu from Denley. Currently, the enemy can only use Afogoy, Denley, and then come to uh, the stadium. Via the stadium, they could go to Bakara. So when we close the stadium, that means Bakara became irrelevant to them. They could not defend Bakara anymore when we captured here. I just hope their stories will still be told. He was briefly sent to Moscow as a military attache to the Ugandan embassy. He returned to Uganda and sent to the 2nd Division in Western Uganda to replace Lieutenant General Peter Iweru, who had been promoted to Land Forces Commander. In November 2019, he was appointed for a special assignment to monitor on behalf of the guarantors of the South Sudan peace process, the assembling, screening and mobilization of the armed forces in South Sudan. Our heroes have been forgotten, our heroes so they 